from retail investors uh, to multinational corporations, uh, financial institutions, the governments, everyone's feeling the pinch uh, and the effect, maybe a better word for what we're seeing with the coronavirus. For some insights and solutions, let's bring in Leon Calvaria. He is a chairman of institutional client groups at Citigroup. Uh, Leon, thanks. And I, I, I don't know any business that's not affected. And I, I can imagine that, that investment banking is the same thing. But I, I'm just wondering, there must be a lot for you to do for clients through a period like this. And if there is another side of this, which we know there will be, workouts and things like that, I can't, I can't imagine you're not going to be really, really busy at Citigroup. Great. Good morning, and thank you for having me on. Um, we have been incredibly busy, and I think the firm continues to pull together and work in a partnership that makes us all proud. In terms of the focus, though, it has been firstly the safety and soundness of our people. But as we move on to the client base, the area that everyone has looked at is liquidity. So we have had significant demands in terms of liquidity. This crisis, obviously, is one where the banks can be providers of solutions. So we're very focused on ensuring that we can do what we can, not just on the corporate side, but also in terms of our consumer base here. Unlike the other crisis, we want to come out of this even stronger and ensure that we played our part to ensure that the financial systems are working well. So, Joe, it's been incredibly busy. And as you well know, you've got to stay disciplined in this time and uh, avoid certain of the news and stay focused on the people and the business. It's different, you point out, from the financial crisis uh, because you're well, the, a lot of banks and, and uh, companies like where you are are better capitalized. But I can imagine you better be pretty nimble. Uh, I, I Will there be, I can't imagine that M&A activity is going to drive your business anytime, uh, anytime soon. What, 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 what will you be doing uh, for customers? Uh, you mentioned liquidity. Uh, what else? I think the first thing is liquidity, as we talked about in terms of revolvers and things of that nature. The other thing that's worth noting is the investment-grade bond market, which has seen a record week, a record month, and a record quarter with over $250 billion worth of issuance. So companies that are able to take advantage of the investment-grade bond market are terming out their debt albeit that the rates have gone up a bit, people are looking for safety and soundness and ensuring that they have cash on their balance sheet. We've seen some small equity issuance, not big, but some beginnings of small equity issuance. And we've seen the high yield markets and the leveraged loan market get slightly better. So again, the focus is on ensuring that the balance sheet works. Liquidity is there right now in every situation. And from an M&A standpoint, I think we've hit the pause button and it will be a while before this returns because people will need to figure out exactly what their requirements are, what the projections look like and how, in fact, they're going to implement them. This is not the time period over the next few months for M&A. It's the time for financial security and liquidity. Uh, Leon, it's Andrew here. Um, Andrew. Question just about companies, big companies, small companies, all trying to draw down on their credit lines. We're hearing all sorts of different stories about private equity firms who've effectively told all their portfolio companies to effectively draw everything down as much as you can. Other companies that are holding off or even other companies that banks are saying, you know what, don't draw down on this line. We'll create a new line effectively at a different rate for you. How is that? Can you, can you speak to what's happening in that space? Yeah, I think what's happened in that space is we have existing lines with clients, and if they choose to draw down, we will work our way through and, and draw down those lines. In many other cases, those companies have actually decided instead of drawing down their lines, they're simply going to go into the bond market and term out their debt. I've heard those stories from the private equity side right now, but frankly, we have not seen too much of that at all. So that's, uh, you know, maybe that will happen here as a second wave, but we haven't seen it at all. So, so far, so good. And uh, given the capitalization of the banking system coming into this crisis, I think people feel pretty comfortable to ensure that they can provide the liquidity to the customers and the clients that they need to ensure that we can return out of this, hopefully in the next right. few months. Leon, you spend so much time on the phone, and I imagine on the phone now because you're, you're quarantined like the rest of us staying at home. But 
the idea of, of talking to different CEOs in terms of the, the various timelines that you hear from them about how they're thinking about this. The reason I ask is we have some investors come on the program who think that, you know, come the middle of May, uh, we're going to be back in business and things are going to be better. Other people say come June, it'll be better. Some say come September, it'll be better. Some say it may take longer than that. What are you hearing in terms of uh, the, a consensus, if there is one? In the CEO world. Every, in the CEO world, I mean, a couple of things. Firstly, the, the more CEO conversations in the last week or two than take place probably in three months. Every single person asks the question, when do you think we'll be out of it? And there's a view that, you know, come the middle of May, you start to get a gradual reopening. But I think everyone is talking to each other to just try to get some sort of comfort and idea because people don't really know how quickly it'll reopen, what the ways of it will be, and they want to be prepared to make sure that their business is stable as they come out of it. But it is not a single conversation I have, Andrew, where that question doesn't come up.